This problem is a definite integral problem and our limits of integration are from negative 1 to 1 and the function is 2 over 1 plus x squared dx. The first step is to identify the integral that we have here. So step number one we would like to try to try to identify the integral and if you're looking at this integral hopefully it will bring to mind one of them that you should memorize should have memorized and that is the indefinite integral of du over 1 plus u squared which is the inverse tangent the integral of du over 1 plus u squared is the inverse tangent of u plus c. Another one of the inverse trigonometric integrals that would be helpful and that you should memorize is this one where you have du over 1 minus the square root of 1 minus u squared and that's equal to the inverse sine of u plus c. So you can see that the the one that we have up above here is uh, let's scroll back up just a little bit to see what it is. It is the it matches up with the inverse tangent. And so our integral just uh, resembles the inverse tangent integral. However, we have a 2 in front, but that's no big thing. That just means that we just need to multiply our inverse tangent by 2. The second step is to evaluate the limits of integration. So for step 2, we're going to evaluate the limits of integration. I think I remember what those limits of integration are, but we uh, will probably have to scroll back up just to make sure. So we want to write down our function, 2 tangent, inverse tangent of x, and the limits of integration go from, and we see back up in our original problem, from negative 1 to 1. So we just put in our negative 1 and to 1 as the values that we want to plug in and we'll just plug them in. So 2 times the inverse tangent of uh, 1 and then if you remember we're to subtract then 2 times the ta inverse tangent of negative 1 now all all we need to know is what is the inverse tangent of 1 and what is the inverse tangent of negative 1. There are a couple of ways to come up with these values. You could uh, get these values off of the unit circle. But another way is to actually draw the tangent function. Most people can remember from their trig classes how to draw the tangent function and if you remember we have two asymptotes one at negative pi over 2 and the other at pi over 2 and then well that's not a very good drawing of the tangent function but uh, let's try and draw it again and that's not much better but there's an indication of what the tangent function looks like and there's an important point at when the tangent of pi over 4 is 1 and the tangent of negative pi over 4 is negative 1. You may remember those facts about the tangent function. And using that, we want to find the inverse tangent of 1. So we simply find out what value gives us 1, and that's pi over 4. And what value of the tangent f 
function gives us negative 1 and that's negative pi over 4. So the inverse values then are, we'll just plug them in, it's, we'll have still uh, 2 and the inverse tangent of negative 1 we found was pi over 4 and then subtract 2 and the inverse tangent of negative 1 we found was negative pi over 4 and then it's just a matter of simplifying that let's see we'll have 2 pi over 4 and minus a negative will be plus another 2 pi over 4 add those two together you get 4 pi over 4 or pi and so the answer to this problem is pi okay let's just review what the important parts of this problem were the first one was to identify the integral and these are integrals that I suggest you memorize so the integral of du oh, over 1 plus u squared, make that change there, is equal to the inverse tangent of u. That's what we had. And then another important part is to evaluate it, and it would be th then very helpful if you can uh, remember to uh, write out what the tangent function looks like, and then that will be of help to you to evaluate that function. So, there you go, and we'll see you next time. Bye.